In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use trailing stop order on a Bybit exchange. All right. So as you can see here, I have a trade that is currently running in profit. And the reason for using trailing stop is to limit okay, losses and to lock in profit for yourself. All right. So basically, this is going to be working on the Bybit um web version of it okay it means that you need to open your bybit account on the desktop on you know or your on your laptop to be able to set up this okay so here if i come into the bybit order type when you want to trade if i come into the order type we have the limit the market and then the conditional order type but whenever you take a trade okay whenever you take a trade you always see that there is a an option for trailing stop here right you have the option for take profit stop losses and then you have the option for trailing stop here okay so now this trade is running okay it was running in profit right now it is running in loss now if i've set a trailing stop before this actually went to this minus four dollars that you're seeing right here then this would have stopped that or, 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 or maybe just start setting a new stop loss for me okay so the way trailing stop work is if I take a trade, if I open a trade, I open a position and then I go ahead and add, let's say I add my take profit at to take profit at 25%, for instance, and then I put stop loss at maybe 10% or thereabout, okay, and go ahead and confirm. It doesn't stop me from setting trailing stop, okay, it doesn't stop me from setting trailing stop. You can see that the option to trail my stop is still available, all right? So here on the chart, okay, on the Bybit chart, you see that it has marked out my, um, you know, my um, take profit level, my stop loss level. It has marked all of that in the chart, okay? So if I set a trailing stop, if I go ahead and set a trailing stop here, let me go ahead and add trailing stop by clicking on once I come in here to trailing stop. If you don't see it, just scroll, make sure that you scroll this to the left, okay? Then you see your trailing stop here so if i go ahead and click on add now it comes in price retracement percentage okay it comes in percentage so you can go ahead and type in the percentage you want to use okay for instance if i use three percent here here it tells you that stop loss order will be triggered when the last traded price retreats from the best price by three percent okay so if i put five percent here is the same thing that is going to um you know happen if I put 10%, whatever it is, it's the same thing that is going to happen for it to you. And the best way I personally use the trailing stop order is when I'm in profit, okay? When I'm in profit, um, I've, you know, shared these different strategies on how to actually um, be dynamic in setting your stop loss. Maybe you are taking a trade or a signal that have take profit, target one, target two, target three, target four, target five okay and then target one and two has hit already there is every probability that even when target one and two okay has been hit by your trade okay there's every probability that that trade can still reverse and hit your stop loss all right there is every probability that the trade will still reverse and hit your stop loss so in that case you want to use trailing stop once the target one is hit there are two ways to go about it is it that you set you adjust your stop loss to the entry or to target one or you use trailing stop okay trailing stop means that you will continue to be in that trade even when target five is hit if target five is the last target even when that target five is hit you will continue to be in that trade okay until maybe when the price retraces by whatsoever percentage that you set here so if i put five percent here all right when the price retraces by five percent it goes ahead and close it if i put ten percent the same thing happen all right but always have always used five percent all right so in case you don't know what trailing stop is all right trailing stop is a type of stop loss order that moves relative to the market price okay basically what a trailing stop does is that the more the market continues to move in your favor okay it continues to trail and continues to lock in profit for you that is basically what trailing stop does okay once the market moves in your favor, your stop loss will continue to be adjusting. All right. If I come to my trading view here to explain how trailing stop works, is that if I come in here and say, let's say I enter a trade here, okay, and then I put my stop loss down here. All right. So what will happen is that if this price continues to move in my favor, all right, what the trailing stop now does is that it will continue to adjust my profit according to 
the percentage that I've set. Okay, the retracement percentage that I've set. All right, so it will continue to adjust. Once the price goes up here, then the trailing stop will adjust the stop loss here. When it goes up again, the trailing stop will continue to adjust the stop loss. Then when the price retraces by that number of percentage you set, okay, this stop loss will not adjust back. Okay, trailing stop only allow the stop loss to adjust, okay, in your favor. If it is a long trade, it will continue to move up and continue to secure profit for yourself. Then if it is a short trade, the stop loss will continue to move down and continue to secure profit for yourself. So in this case, when the market retraces downward, this stop loss will not move. Okay, this stop loss, this new stop loss that the trailing stop has set will not move. Then if the market comes and hit this stop loss, automatically the trade closes and you are in profit. So let's see if you have made profit of 1% or you know 5% there. It means that you have secured that profit for yourself. Okay, the same thing happens if it is a short trade. All right, if you set your stop loss here and then the trailing stop is triggered, it continues to adjust, okay, and then continue to set new stop loss for you until when the price retraces back, okay, and hit the stop loss, then the trade is automatically closed in your favor, all right? That is basically how trailing stop works, all right? So for the buy bid exchange, in order to set up trailing stop, once you set up your trade, whether you use stop loss or take profit, okay, this will still work for you. So and down here, you will always see the details of your trade. Once you take your trade, you come to the position tab, you see all of these details and you want to make sure you scroll. So you want to make sure that you scroll to the, to the right here, okay? So once you scroll to the right here, you will see after take profit and stop loss option, you will see the trailing stop or option, okay? So go ahead and click on it. If I go ahead and click on, um, you know, 5% or let me make it um, 6%, okay? So it means that when the market retraces by 6%, okay? Whatever my stop loss, my new stop loss is, that is where it's going to close the trade for me. So I'll go ahead and click on confirm. All right. So now when I click on confirm that you should see my trailing stop in the market here. All right. So. So to be able to see the trailing stop, let me go ahead and see if I can cancel this. Okay. Let me cancel all of this. All right, so now that I've canceled the, uh, now that I've canceled the take profit and stop loss level, you see that this is our trailing stop, okay? So what this does is that it will continue to follow the market, all right? If the market continues to move in our favor, trailing stop will continue to follow it. Okay, it will continue to set new stop loss on our behalf. All right, then when the market retraces back by 5%, I think it's 6% we set. So when it retraces back by 6%, it will automatically close the trade in our favor. I think it has even closed the trade already. Okay, other change successful. All right, so you see this <laughs> indication on the, okay. You see the notification showing up here. So it continues to adjust. You see that it has adjusted, all right? So this is how it, okay? You see other change successfully. So the more the market continues to move, the more the trailing stop is, okay? The more we are setting new stop loss for ourselves, all right? So the more the market continues to move, the more new stop loss is set for us. The more the market continues to move, the more stop loss is set for us. So when the market comes down to this price you are seeing here, automatically the trade will close. In that case, would have, it would have closed in profit, and then we would have secured some profit for ourselves. That is exactly what trailing stop does. And this is how to activate trailing stop on your Bybit exchange. If you don't have a Bybit account, use the link in the video description to set up one for yourself because, okay, the trade has, <laughs> has actually closed, all right? So the trade was closed successfully and it was closed in profit, all right? That is the work of trailing stop. It is not something that is difficult. Once you enter a trade, set up a trailing stop. Once the trade is in profit, most especially those of you who use signals, if your target one, two has been hit and you're still expecting to hit target six or seven, then use trailing stop to follow. In that case, if the market continues to move in speed in your favor, you will continue to lock in more profit for yourself. All right. So sign up with the Bible that can using the link in the video description. You can equally join my Telegram group using the link in the video description. And if you are new to the channel, okay, please support me by subscribing to the channel it won't cost anything to subscribe to this channel all right support me by subscribing to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video if there's anything you don't understand you can always use the comment section to ask your questions and definitely i will attend to them all right thank you and i will see you guys in the next video